Now, let me ask you guys something. Can one series truly be elegant? And if so, why is it Spy X Family? Because we had a most elegant episode today, if I do say so myself. Because <laughs> welcome back to the channel, guys. And you guessed it, we are here to talk about Spy X Family episode four. And <laughs> I gotta say, guys, the adaptation is just absolutely like perfect so far. We haven't missed anything. In fact, we've only added stuff to it. That's only enhanced the series even more. Just what an amazing series. The love and dedication that's been put into it is ridiculous. I'm telling you now, guys, I'm a manga reader, and the amount of love that is put into this series is crazy. I promise you. They are going all out for this series. And it shows in this episode. You know, we take a simple episode like today with the Forgers preparing to try to get Anya into school, you know? So let's let's just get into it before I get a little off topic. Now, in today's episode, we get the results of that, you know? They did all their preparations in last week's episode, and today is the day they have to do their family interview to get Anya into Eden Academy. And, uh, <laughs> they have to put on a very elegant performance, you know? You know a school is truly elegant when you get attacked by farm animals on the very first day. Very elegant indeed. Or when you have to help a fat kid out of a gutter, you know? What truly elegant person would not do that? And of course, who wouldn't bring five changes of clothes with them in the process, you know? Only truly elegant people are prepared for such things. <laughs> so needless to say, they pass the little mock interview that they have, just getting into the school. And now we get into the real school. And we get into the real interview in today's episode. And just, just wow, man. This the quality of this series is so good. They get asked a bunch of questions, you know, to test them. To test how strong of a family they are. And as we all know, not that strong. Because <laughs> they're not a real family. But, you know, they go through it the best they can. You know, they're answering questions. They practice precisely. And then we get to Anya. And, well, her mother is a very touchy subject. Not your, her real mother, is a very touchy subject. And that gets brought up. And we see Anya start to cry. Which, I'm a manga reader, guys, but I, the farthest I've gotten is volume 5 so far. And I haven't even finished it yet. And to my knowledge, her mother has not been mentioned just yet in the series besides this scene so if anything crazy happens with her mother later down the line i couldn't tell you guys but it seems to be an incredibly touchy subject for her which i'm sure we will get explored eventually because the second she was brought up she started to cry so it's a very touchy subject yours getting pissed off because of this one douchebag guy there that's asking them questions you know recently divorced super ugly guy kid was taken from him in the marriage all that stuff super jealous of this hot couple in front of him <laughs> and he just has it out for them you know he just is being a dick throughout the whole interview asking them ridiculous questions and like i said he eventually brings up anya's mother and that is a no-no because Yor was going to kill him right there. Even Lloyd got upset. He was going to punch the shit out of that guy. But no, he elegantly took out a fly instead with his punch. And I got to say, the <laughs> one of the headmaster in this show is great. He's, he's such a great part of the manga. So I know you guys are going to love him in the anime. He is elegant incarnate. <laughs> if you guys hadn't guessed the theme of today's video. 
<laughs> but no, it's just an overall great series, guys. You know, it's adapted perfectly so far. I'm I'm extremely excited to know where we go from here. I'm extremely excited to hear the voices of some characters that are coming up that I think you guys will quite like. <laughs> and that preview for the next episode. I'll say this right now. I didn't think the next episode I didn't think we'd get the next episode. I thought we might skip that. But I'm so glad we're not. It's gonna be very fun. But I guess we could get into the nitty gritty of the episode a bit. You know, when I talk about this series, guys, as you know, I normally have somewhat of a structure with my videos and all that with how I do them. But as I talk about this series in particular, it's just, I don't know. I just, I just love it. I just start gushing every time I talk about it. It's, <laughs> it's kind of hard. But uh, let's get into the nitty gritty. Like I said, they were doing their family interview. And uh, it's quite tough, you know. This academy is the most prestigious one in the land. So they don't just accept anyone. So they throw a bunch of trials and tribulations at our characters before they even get into the school. As they're entering the school themselves, they are tested. Because they're being watched the second they walk in. Only truly elegant people can get into this school and if it's not elegance to full, pull a fat kid out the gutter change your clothes stop a stampede of farm animals <laughs> very coolly i might add very very coolly your just continues to be a great character <laughs> and on top of that kill a mosquito because as we know, mosquitoes are just such harmful creatures. Truly elegant. <laughs> I don't know. This series is just great, guys. I can't ever stop gushing about it. Like, I under I can understand why some people are like, bro, why is this series so popular? I, like, I don't even fucking get it. Like, what? Why? It's just a, it's just a slice of life, isn't it? Like, I can, I can understand some people being that way. But I'm telling you right now, you just got to watch it, guys. You know? No, this ain't no crazy big action shonen like y'all are accustomed to. Like, all the shonen tards and all that. Like, oh my god. There's no sword fighting and anything like that. But it's just, an, it's just a great series that as you watch, you can just see the love they've put into it. You know? It's palpable. You can feel it. That en The ending song alone has so much character and personality to it that I was blown away. Last week when we heard it for the first time, I legit probably watched it like six times. And I don't do that. I skip endings, usually. I have a habit of watching the opening and watching the ending at least one time before a show. but And then usually skipping it after if I don't like it. But I watched that ending probably like six times. Because I was blown away by the love and just the quality of it. And the series itself is no differently. So, you guys let me know down below what you thought of this truly alien episode. <laughs> do you feel as I do about this series being loved? Or if you even, or if you don't even, let me know in the comments. Like I said, I want to, I want to see a bunch of varying opinions in the comments, you know? But, again, just let me know. But yeah, that's it for today's episode. You know, it's just, this is the series I look forward to the most every single week. I don't even think it's close, honestly. Like, I love Kaguya, guys. Like, I like Shield Hero and all that, but like, Spy X Family is the series of this season, hands down. But if, again, if you disagree, let me know in the comments. But yeah, guys, that'll be it for today, you know? Short, sweet, and elegant review for you guys for spy x family episode four so until next time guys i hope you have a great day week month and year and until then deuces and have a blessed day